Hey, it's Tao. Welcome to another episode of Bird Watching with Tao. Today we're going to throw on the paddleboard, head down to the river, and hopefully see some pelicans. Come along for the journey. just about six o'clock uh, Sunday evening. Uh, this morning I was out for a run along the river and I saw some pelicans down on the water. And uh, so today I thought I'd, I'd take the paddleboard and the camera and go take a look and see if they're still there and if I can see anything else. Well, I couldn't get my paddle board inflated all the way. I think the pump's broken, but it's a bit of air in it, so I'll give it a go anyways. It's probably not advised to paddle with that little air, but I'm gonna try it and hopefully it'll be okay. I've seen it paddle on low air before, so I'll give it a shot. We're up. Um, I've never battled with the battle board this soft before, but we're on the water. It is a super nice day, and I'm still hoping to see some pelicans. If you can see, it's pretty floppy, but that's okay. We're gonna make the most of it. So I'm just gonna sit and float down. That was kind of the plan. I hope to find the pelicans and then I'll paddle back later. Um, here we're coming up on some ducks. It's very calm out on the water. I already got one shot of a, a beaver swing by with the camera and I'm just floating by the place where I saw a hawk the other day. Haven't seen anything yet, but uh, we're keeping an eye out. I see an osprey. Um, it's too far for a video, but it's hovering. It's hovering to try to catch fish and it's pretty cool. Um, I almost want to paddle back up there and take a look at it. So we're paddling up towards this osprey. Uh, it's too good of an opportunity not to pass up. It's hovering to try to catch fish. I've seen an osprey on the river a couple times, but never gotten a good picture or video of one. So we're gonna go after it today. So what I'm noticing with the paddle board being deflated like this is it's not, it's, it still works, but you definitely can't go as fast or skim on the water like before. And there's a big dent in the middle. Well, I saw the Osprey fly towards me. It's back in the other direction. Um, now, so we'll float back and take a look. So far what I'm noticing is uh, this battle board so soft that the water's coming on a little bit and it's definitely it's definitely bouncy so it's not ideal but it's too nice not to be on the water so we're gonna stick it out and see if we can't see this this osprey again or pelicans or other birds or wildlife
just taking a look at my camera and I definitely got the Osprey. I got a nice shot of it. I can see it on my camera there. So I'm happy with that and we'll see if we can get a closer look. And a little bit of rough water here. I'm just drifting into shore here. I think I'll pull over and see if I can see some boards, birds on shore or something. Uh, I don't want to go too far with this paddleboard and this looks like a good spot. I think I'm actually gonna take the time to pump this thing up one more time, because it's so soft. Normally these things are supposed to be rock solid once you pump them, but right now you can put a real dent in it, and I don't like that on the water. It's okay, but it's not optimal. Well, I found the issue. The top part wasn't screwed on properly, so the air was coming out. Um, now I got it good to go, so we'll give it a good pump and we'll have a nice time for the rest of our trip. Finally, getting some air in there. There we go. Got some air in it. While I'm out here, um, I'm going to go on foot and explore a little bit. I see a bird nest and I'll just take a look around. I hear a woodpecker up there and I'm just gonna head up ahead and climb up off the bank a little bit and see what I can see. Well, I found a downy woodpecker uh, chopping out, I think it's house. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll come back later in the year, in the spring or early summer and see if they're nesting. But that was a nice find. I think I'm probably gonna head back down to the water. Barefoot wasn't the best choice for an off water adventure. So we'll head back down, but it was a nice little romp up into the woods. Well, I found Mr. Beaver here and he doesn't seem to mind me one bit. Pretty cool guy. And I'll probably leave him alone to his lunch and head back to the paddleboard. There he is. Pretty cool to be this close to nature. That is a good find. I just came right out here. 
after my little jaunt up into the woods and there it was. That was very cool. That beaver just let me sit there and watch while they ate. And uh, I got some really good pictures on the camera. And wow, that was just sweet. Okay, well, we're back on the water. The board's mostly pumped up and we're gonna keep, keep looking for birds and wildlife. There's the forest back in there we were exploring a bit. Super beautiful. And it's kind of untouched. Not, not many people go in there, so it's nice to see what's out there. Well, I think we're mostly just going to uh, paddle back to where we came from. We've had such good luck already, but we will stop if we see anything else on the way. And we made it. That was some pretty good work battling back uh, against the current, but it's just such a gorgeous evening out here tonight. And I got so lucky with that beaver. It was just happy to see me. Uh, the woodpecker was fun as well. And I'm just sitting out on the board, enjoying the calm water a little bit next to shore uh, before I, I hike back home. I want to thank everybody for watching the video and coming along for the adventure. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and click the like button. It really helps out. And thanks so much, and we'll catch you on the next one.